Hello YouTubers, this is JTHammer22 and today I'll be showing you what the purpose of cleaning your Mac is and how to take care of it to make it last the longest. So basically the agenda for this video is to explain the purpose of cleaning and taking care of your computer. We will be using three applications, SMC Fan, App Cleaner, and Memory, and memory Cleaner. All of their links will be in the description below. We'll be also discussing why it's important to shut off your computer and last we're going to check for software updates and any other updates that will be available for the computer. If I think of more stuff along the way I will explain them in this video. So first the purpose of cleaning taking care of your computer. It is important to clean out your computer just by using can air and spray the hard drive or just spray the fans or the heat sinks just so that the fans will and also spraying the fans just so that the fans won't get clogged up and your computer will easily easily let air through that way your computer does not overheat with that we also have another application called SMC fan that will help us do that um, another reason you want to take care of your computer is because Mac's, Mac in general are expensive the cheapest one I think now is 499 or 599 still so that's a big chunk of money um, so that's another reason you want to take care of your computer. Also, you want to take care of it because you guys probably have a lot of saved data on them. That you are priceless photos and stuff that you would die to lose. Um, so that's the reason you should take care of your computer because, again, Macs are expensive and everyone has saved stuff on there that if they lose, they will literally be heartbroken. So first we'll be going into SMC Fan. SMC Fan is a program I've been using for probably about three years now. I did a video on it way back when, a long time ago. But with this program, if I could here it is. SMC Fan Control actually is what it called. I call it MC, M SMC Fan. What it does, you double click on it, you open this up, and then nothing happens. Except for if you look right here, you'll see you have a temperature gauge and then a number next to RPM. And then if you click on it, you get this drop down menu. And then if you click on preferences, and this is basically what it is you can t change your, uh, temperature, your temperature for whatever it's going to be Fahrenheit, Celsius. I'm in America, so I use Fahrenheit. Um, this is just what it looks like up there. Nothing for this to bother except for just a Fahrenheit and Celsius. And then this, also right here, this auto start, or yeah, auto start SMC fan after login, you should have that. The updates, I mean, you can have them. This, uh, this application is like, rarely ever has an update. Anyway, to get down to the program. The program SMC fan control takes over the fan in your computer, and you can change it from default to making clicking a plus, adding a name for one, and then changing how fast you want it to go. So based on what your temperature should be, your your computer should never be the over the temperature anywhere from I mean there is no low for your computer, but it should never be anywhere over one thirty five ish. It should never be over one thirty five. If it's one fifty, cool it down. If it's one forty and you should slowly cool it down. If it's 130, s still try to cool it down. I always have my computer between temperatures 100 and 120. That's like a good span for what you should keep your computer in. Right now, as you can look, my computer's 99 degrees Fahrenheit, but yet I just started my computer up like five minutes ago just to do this video. Um, so that is SMC Fan Control. You can make it with different uh, speeds here to help <clears throat> cool down your computer based on what temperature it is. Um, so next we'll be moving on to App Cleaner. App Cleaner I also did another tutorial on way back when with SMC Fan Control, but this is a this is an application that I've been using, I think longer than SMC Fan Control, and it has been such a great help. So what you do is you open it and you get a little window that looks like this. Um, 
it says drop apps here so let's say I go into my applications folder just like this and then I see let's say I want to get rid of chess right here when you say grab it what I would normally do is just throw it into the trash and then delete it right from the trash right but that's not what you're supposed to do with app cleaner what you do is you take it and drop it into the app cleaner window just like this now you can't use chess because that's a that came with the computer here steam here we go and it searches for all the files that have to do with steam so when it searches it will find the library here the steam uh, playlist and also the save state I actually like this program for many different reasons one reason is it gets rid of all these junk files that will eventually add up on your computer uh, they could have viruses well Macs don't get viruses but still they can get slowed down by these playlists um, one if like let's say you get a trial on a program like let's say I get a trial on ScreenFlow or Reflector or something and then the trials up I would just normally drag it to the trash you download and see if it worked but then the computer uh, the application can sense that you had it on there when you drag into app cleaner it finds these playlists and it'll find a trial playlist and if you delete that trial playlist then it never knew never knew you had it on the computer and you can just keep using the trial over and over and over so that's a good thing about this all you do is you just drag it in there click delete and it gets rid of everything from that application so that is app cleaner you can also delete widgets that you don't use or other plugins and stuff that you don't use you can also search your applications folder here by clicking on that but anyway next on to the next application which is memory cleaner these are the three applications memory cleaner is something you can download off of the app store by going to your apple and then app store and then if i just go here into this little search window and search your memory memory clean right there first one so, there you go it's this one right here I also leave a link to this in the description below but if you just click on the open button or you go into your preferences and you open it what you do is you get this if your computer is ever slow I always tell you to shut it down but just in case you need to keep it on for whatever reason this is the application that will help you what it does is it's an application that senses how much RAM your computer is using like right now my all the apps I'm running is currently taking up 1.93 gigabytes of RAM my file cache is taking up 1.67 gigs wired is taking up 1.26 gigs uh, 1.26 gigs my fault and then currently used is 4. Uh, 4.58 gigs so basically that's how much and it says total right here is the total amount you have installed in your computer. I have eight right now is being used as four. So actually, and then this is how much free memory I have available. So all you do is you just click clean memory like this. It starts cleaning. What it does it gets rid of some file cache? It gets rid of some wired RAM and compresses. <coughs> it compresses it so that it uses less RAM and gives more to the operating system, so your computer is not slow and you don't get that little spinny rainbow wheel. Um, now while this is finishing I'm just gonna explain why it's important to shut off your computer I cannot emphasize this enough all these applications do do good for your computer but the best thing to do for your computer is just shut it off every once in a while Apple says at least once a month I don't think that's good enough I do mine at least every day every night before I go to bed I turn it off and then whenever I keep it off until I'm going to use it and then when I'm done using it I may keep it on I may turn it off but sometimes if I do leave it on, I never keep it on for more than a week at most. Um, I know we have a computer downstairs that we left on for months upon months, and it, ju and it just died. And, I mean, we got five years out of it. Or no, we got like seven years out of it. The computer lifespan for the Mac that we had downstairs was anywhere from seven to ten. Um... And we got the shortest lifespan out of it. I have a feeling it was because we left it on. Or it could have just been all the files we downloaded, but I truthfully felt like it was because we have left it on. Um, 
the lifespans for these computers for any type of desktop like the iMac, the Mac Mini, the Mac Pro is anywhere from seven to, uh, from <clears throat> seven to uh, my fault from ten to fifteen years. For Apple computers or like the laptops I'm talking about is um, anywhere from seven to ten years. The reason they're shorter are because they take, they have a battery in them. The battery tend to die. They get more wear and tear because you're carrying them around, so you may drop them once. Even if you don't, this processors and stuff are not as well made and stuff in the laptop. And it's mostly because of the battery. The battery gets shorted out. The battery gets constrained if you're charging it too much or not charging it enough. So those are the lifespans for the computers. Guys, this is it. I think... Oh, no, wait. I have to check for a software update. So I hope you all know how to do a software update. Just in case you don't, you just go here. Click on App Store. And this is for anywhere from 8 or no. I uh, OS 10.7 and up. If it's from uh, 7 and down, what you do is you just click here. And then you'll see next underneath System Preferences, it will say Software Update. You click on that. But if it's 7 and up, you click on App Store. And then right here you see updates. And this is where you get all the app updates for all your programs. See updates since all in the last 30 days. I have one for Xcode, iTunes, iPhoto, and then a security update. See, so the updates do come through the App Store. And then I had a Safari update also. But that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. This is JT Ember22. And this is how to take care and cleaning. How to take care of your Mac computer. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.